In this video, I'm going to show you how you can animate your buttons in your Power BI reports. We're going to go through it step by step together so you can follow along as well. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernand and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So using custom buttons in Power BI reports is probably one of the most basic features that you can add in your pages that add a ton of functionalities to your report. And in fact, a lot of my videos cover buttons and some of the more creative ways that you can use them. However, today I will show you how to make your buttons come to life with animations. So first let's start by showing you how to create a button. So from your Power BI desktop, you can simply go to insert buttons and then choose from the selections here, which will insert a button into your page. Simple as that. Now in the format section, you can do a lot of things in your buttons properties, like changing its shape, changing its rotation or styles, and even add actions to your buttons. But what you'll also notice is that you can customize your buttons based on button states. This means that you can change your button's shape, color, or even text, depending on the button's state itself. So what should the button do when you hover over it, for example, or when you press it or when it's disabled. So this is one of the easiest ways you can make or show a sort of animation in your buttons. So let me show you an example. So let's say we want this uh, this arrow to be to grow bold or to change color when we hover over it. So to do that, we just need to go to style and under icon. First, this is what it should be when it's default. And then if we change the state to on hover, so this is what the icon should be when we hover over the button. Uh, so in this case, we want to change maybe the weight, maybe change the color as well, maybe to something like this. And now if I hover over it, you'll see that the weights of the lines go bold and the line color changes as well based on hovering over that button simply. However, let's say you want to use some more complex animation. Maybe you want your buttons to slide in or jump, then we'll need to take advantage of using custom images instead. So instead of using the icons pre-made for us by Power BI, we can in fact use images for our button icons by simply changing the icon that we select when we create the button. So to start with, let's create a new blank button from this selection here, which will simply create a blank button with borders for us. So under style, we'll just simply turn off the border and turn off the icon and we'll use fill instead. Under default, the default state, we want to change the button to use our custom image that we have in, uh, that we want to use. So we have, uh, I have pre-created some buttons here in PowerPoint, which I'll show you how to create later. So I'll select this one, which is a, a simple image, change the image fit to fit and transparency to 0%. And there you go. So you have a button that uses a custom image for its icon. So what we uploaded is a simple PNG file, which is static. However, Power BI supports GIF images too, which are essentially animated images. And again, we'll go through how you can create one for yourself later. Let's say on hover of this button, you want to animate it because you really don't want to animate buttons on default, only when you hover over it, for example. So in this case, I've already pre-created a GIF file that animates this uh, this image here. So we'll change it to on hover. And under fill, we'll change the, uh, the file here to use this one instead. And we'll say fit, make sure transparency is 0%. So now, if I hover over this, you'll see that it animates by itself. For animated buttons, you have the option of getting it online or creating one for yourself. Both are really easy options. So let me show you. 
A good free option is this site called flaticon.com, which allows you to download a GIF and PNG icons for free. You simply find the icon you want. So let's say we want this one. You hit download, you can download a GIF version and a PNG version. And you want the static one for the default and the GIF for when you're hovering over it. So if you, and if we try to use it now, let's insert a new blank button. Style borders under fill, browse, and then we will use, I believe it's this one, fit zero. Nope, that's the GIF one. So I'm just changing it to default, make sure that that fits like this. So that gives us the default static version, which now if we change the style on hover and use the GIF version now, which I believe it should be, it should be this one. Make sure it fits. There we go. That animates your button when you hover over it. Using the icons in this flat icon website does require an attribution to the author though. So if you're using it for projects, make sure you credit the author or you pay for a subscription in this website. If you want to create one for yourself, instead of using external websites. In order to have a bit more control over the icons and the animations themselves, you can do this pretty easily if you're a little bit savvy in PowerPoint. So here is PowerPoint that I have opened now. So from here, what we can do is we can first change the slide size. Let's change it to something that is a little bit more uh, same about the same size as a button. So let's say about five centimeters. So five by five. Ensure fit. So this will give us this uh, this this square canvas. And then from here we can insert icons. And I like using this icons bit because it it gives you a, a lot of options when it comes to using different icons. So let's take one for example. Um, I don't know, let, let's say maybe this one. And for this button, for example, we want to, and let's export this first because we want to create a static version, which will be a PNG version. Um, static airplane, just this one. And then we're going to now add an animation to it simply. Animations, let's say we want it to fly in like this. So now we've added that animation. We go to simply File, Export, Create an Animated GIF, Create, and then we can just say uh, GIF Airplane. And I mean, that's a very simple one, uh, but you can go even more complex with your animations if you're more familiar and have a bit more knowledge with PowerPoint. But to show you how that looks like, now let's insert a button once more. <clears throat> let's insert a button once more, blank one, like this. Change icons, change the fill. On default, we want to use the static airplane fit transparency zero and then on hover we want to use the gif version so the gif airplane make it fit so now when you hover over it you'll see that that animates that button and that's really it for this short video i hope you now know how easy it is to animate your buttons in your power bi airports Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't so I know to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. 
If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one.